Hello everyone, today we're going to try out another animation LoRa in Clock Video X. These are the Orbit Left and Orbit Up LoRa models, which are produced by Dimension X, one of the GitHub open source projects. You can download them from the Hugging Face Files tab, where you can also check out their GitHub project page. It explains how to animate 3D and 4D animations using images or videos in different orbit directions. On their GitHub project page, you can check out their examples as well. There's orbit zoom in and out and orbit movement to the right direction in addition to left directions. They've also shown this very interesting example from Sora's Mamo videos, where it's actually able to use videos to animate the orbit directions. Here in the Comfy UI layout, I have already listed the Dimension X LoRa download files and the locations where you need to save them in the Comfy UI folders. Let's look at the workflows and see how they're going to run. First, we're going to use the Clock Video X5B image to video model, and we're going to use FP16 or FP8, if you prefer, for the clip loader. I'm choosing FP16. For the text prompt, these are just various normal general purpose quality improvement text prompts since we don't need to specify what kind of orbit in this text prompt. For the COG video image encode, this is the image encoder receiving the image from load image or load image from path. I have both custom nodes here so that if I have an existing image in the file system or my computer, I can just locate it in the file path itself. Then we need to check out the COG Video X decode. If you have low VRAM or a lower performance computer, you'll need to enable the tile VAE tiled options. Let's check out an example. Here, I have the load image from Path with the Wukong video scene. One of the scenes from the video games and we'll animate this using orbit left from the LoRa models. Then we'll see how the result performs. In this video, I'm going to show something that works with these Orbit Dimension X LoRa models. And now I'll also show something that's not working in this video. Let's see the working example first. Here, as we can see, we have Wukong, the Monkey King, from the backside of the character, and then the camera is panning from orbit to the left. All the settings here are the same, except I've only selected the LoRa models specifically the orbit left LoRa models for the camera motions with this image. Let's try out another image, which is another animated scene of the Monkey King. This one is going to use orbit up. We're going to see how that animation looks. Here's the result of the animations. As you can see, the Monkey King gets grabbed by the Buddha. In this scene, I'm using orbit up where you see the cameras panning up. It looks very cinematic and you can use that for animations in stories, AI movies, AI videos, or similar projects. Now, let's try out another image that shows what's not working with Dimension X LoRa models. This scene is also from the Wukong video game. It's one of the scenes from there and we're going to choose Orbit Left. We'll show why this kind of scene isn't working for Orbit Left or Right in Dimension X. Now, here's one of the previous examples that I generated before recording this video. I'm using a living room scene which is going very simply, smoothly, and nicely using different orbit camera panning directions, even when the scene orbit almost 180 degrees to another side of the living room, and that other side of the living room is AI generated. At this point, we know that the Dimension X LoRa leveraged the AI video model to generate additional content on here. Now let's check out the result of the Monkey King video game scene. Here's one of the scenes, and as you can see, the first two seconds are very nice. You see the back of the character and it starts panning or orbiting to the left. When you see the foreground and the front face of the character, you start seeing some weird pixels and an unclear face or presentation of the Wukong character. Why is that? It's because Dimension X cannot render a specific character or some specific elements that are present in the image scenes. Whereas, as you see, the backgrounds, some trees, uh, the background fight scenes here, the trees, bushes, and mountains are able to be generated. These kinds of images are very general, maybe already trained with the COG Video X AI video models, as they have that very general data able to render those backgrounds for you. 
but if you have specific characters like these two characters in the orbit animations it won't be able to produce a clear picture of the monkey king and the other monster i have another example here which is the living room example i tried that out in previous videos before i recorded this one in here this example i was showing is the 180 degree rotation of the orbit left and right where it's able to show that for some general purpose scenes the ai can show those images but here as you can see when i pan to almost six seconds of this video scene you see the character's face and also the bad guy the back of the bad guy is not able to be rendered because those characters or objects are very specific the model might not have such data i guess look at this example here and other examples I'm using one of the AI generated images I had before and trying that. The first three seconds are good. When we rotate to five and six seconds, you see it starts getting some weird things. It won't be able to understand this is a wall. Instead, it keeps generating televisions, back of televisions, having some weird screen on the back. Those are the pros and cons of Dimension X. So far, I find out from testing it. If you use that, you have to be aware of what kind of image you want to animate to videos using orbit. Like this living room or a landscape view, it's okay to render using the Dimension X orbit left or right, and this kind of image is very good for interior design. People who want to show like 180 degrees of the living room are able to do that using this AI image. And lastly, let's try this image for orbit. This is a close-up shot of Wukong, the Monkey King, where it is standing. A close-up shot of the camera scene. In this way, it will be something different. So this is the result of the generated Wukong close-up shot. As you can see, the AI is able to detect the main character as the center of this image. It won't be able to pan too much or orbit too much of the camera view. Maybe the AI I have tried a few times again and again is also doing this same kind of angle for the orbit, where maybe this is going to be what it's trying to avoid, panning too much of the back of the character. So yes, try that out for Dimension X, where you can just select the Cog Video X LoRa and then connect to the Cog Video X model. Again, you can select more than one LoRa model here, where maybe you have orbit up and orbit left following up on the next one, then pass the data to the COG Video X model and it will have multi-angle orbit for your animations. For the Patreon community, we're going to continue developing the Flux Multi-Tool AI Video Scenes workflow that we have previously. Now I have added this COG Video X orbit features as a group here where you can select the other output image from the other groups after AI refines the image or if you have an existing image from your file path system, you can link up that one as well. More detailed explanation will be posted in the Patreon post later. And that's it for this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.